We always throw out reasons to not make something. We think it's going to be too expensive. We don't think people will like the idea. We don't think there'll be an audience for it. We're just worried about sort of basically exposing ourselves to the world. And when I started out as a writer, I was on EastEnders and I remember the there was a lot of writers who came on EastEnders who were very very snobbish about EastEnders. They thought it was beneath them. I didn't. I thought it was an incredible privilege to be able to just be paid to write. Um, but they found that they thought that they, it was beneath them. And the ones who thought it was beneath them usually didn't do a very good job and didn't last very long. No, I'm not going to tell him. Never knows he's got enough on his plate without worrying about this. It's easy to write exterior field, the army charges over the hill, and then they are massacred by the machine guns. It takes you that, that amount of time to write it as I said it. But that what you've just written will cost £200,000, £300,000, maybe more. Because um, if you're writing a script and you think that's something you can easily just sell to BBC Three, who have a bu very small budget, you know, you're going to have a rude awakening because the first thing they're going to say is we can't afford to do that. So it, the more people can educate themselves about how production works, the, the more they'll get out of it as writers. Yeah, I mean, I chose to come back here. Emma and I were living in Los Angeles. We chose to come back here really because, partly because I feel a, a strong emotional, personal connection. I've got family here, I've got many friends here. So it's a, it's, I have a strong personal connection to the West Country. As a, as a hub, it's a great, it's a great centre, Bristol. It's, it's really, it's really a, 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 there's a lot of areas around it that can, you can get to Bristol very quickly. Um, and plus, it's a great place for location filming as well. I mean, if, especially if you're making historical drama, you have the castles and the country houses. And God knows in the last couple of years, I, I've sought out most of them because we've needed them for a, a, a drama, you know, that was spanning the young, life of young Henry VIII and young Catherine of Aragon. So we, we were looking for a lot of those places. And it's just a, it's a great place to work. It generates a really good atmosphere because people are working in a nice part of the country. So there's a lot of reasons sort of culturally, practically, and sort of emotionally, psychologically, why I think the West Country is a fantastic centre for television production. I hear the Dauphin is a most handsome infant. And why hasn't Francis brought him to this summit? I think um, Just Make It is a very, very important ethos because I think it applies to people in all sort of stratas of the industry, whether you're starting out, whether you're an enthusiastic amateur who wants to be professional, or whether you're an experienced professional. I think we always throw up obstacles. I think that doesn't really change that fear and anxiety, no matter how successful you become. Um, and I think it's really important for people starting out to know that. Thank you.